hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a t-shirt transformation video i love this t-shirt so much but i felt that it was time to do something to it add some oomph that's exactly what i did i'm in love let's get started with this video all you'll need is your t-shirt a pair of scissors some chalk I also recommend getting some measuring tape and if you're bad at drawing straight lines like me, a ruler will definitely come in handy. What I'm doing now is I'm measuring 6 inches from the bottom of the shirt and I just wanted my straps to be about 2 inches wide. Obviously if you want wider straps, all power to you but this measurement worked fine for me and yeah. After having drawn my straight line, I just cut straight across and that was it. Moving on to placing the passage for the drawstrings, I just took the 6 inch fabric, I marked the length of my shirt and then having done that, I just cut that off. So the passage is going to be the length of your shirt and 2 inches wide. I marked the middle of my top, that way I could place it exactly in the middle. You don't want to place it to the side because it's going to look weird so just do whatever you can to make sure it's right at the middle and having done that I just went marking an inch. So I could get the middle of the strap and I drew a straight line down. This is to just make sure I get the center of my strap. Having done that, I just put in pins because I was gonna sew along the three lines as you will see. So I just pinned the sides and that was it. This is where you're going to sew your lines. So you're going to have three sets of stitches. No, not three sets, three lines, as you can see in this shot. Now moving on to hemming, I wanted the shirt to look kind of finished and put together. You can skip this step if you want more of a frayed look, but I wanted a classic hemmed t-shirt and that's exactly what I'm doing. So straight across and then you will have your hem. Now moving on to the drawstrings, I removed the original hem of the t-shirt and I was left with about, I don't know, 4 inches, probably more, maybe 5. And I just made my straps from this, they didn't have to be equal so I am not an expert here, I just winged it. So I found the middle of my strap of fabric and I cut down the middle folded it in half, sewed and made straps. So you do whatever you need to do. Having gotten my two strips of fabric, I just sewed along the sides and turned them inside out. This was so difficult to do because I didn't have a turner and it was so hard. It took me so much time. I would definitely not do this again without having the proper tools. It took me way too long. Having done that, I folded it in half. I wanted a really thin strap and I also wanted it to be pretty thick. And once I sewed that down, I had my straps and now it's time to put them into the shirt. So I forgot to mention, when sewing your passage, make sure you leave two holes at the top. That way you have a passage for your drawstrings, attach a bobby pin to the end of the strap, push it through and using a pair of scissors make a hole for it to come out through and that's it. I 
did the same for the other strap so this is just me repeating myself Once that was done, I just folded in my straps and I wanted to have them inside. You can leave a bit of fabric, it's just up to you. But I folded them and then I sewed across that line and that was it. This is my top guys. I am so happy with the final result. It looks like a completely different shirt. I'm in love. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that I'll see you in my next one. Until then, bye!